Welcome back. Somewhere around the world, about 75 countries regularly enjoy the special flavor of wild animal meat. With about 2.5 billion tons of meat consumed each year, it accounts for exactly 1% of total global meat production. But in the United States, why hasn't wild game meat seen widespread popularity? Let's explore this secret. It is important to understand American food culture and the fact that American farmers rarely consume wild game meat. The majority of Americans favor farm-raised meat, considering it their main source of food. Wild meat is often more popular in areas with a long tradition of hunting and trapping, such as the western states, where there is a diverse range of wildlife. Wild meat is more dominant in areas like the west than in the eastern states, where consumers have little appetite for farm-raised meat. think? Should we enjoy wild meat or not? Please share your opinion by leaving a 1 if you agree and a 0 if you disagree. Wildlife can be a threat to ecosystems and agriculture in the United States. Although they are harmful, Americans do not regularly consume their meat because hunting requires a state license at considerable cost. This increases costs and makes wild meat expensive for consumers. Let's explore this situation further and consider whether we should change our perspective on consuming wild meat. With rising incomes, many states in the United States often place limits on the amount of wild game a person can hunt or trap in a year in an effort to protect wildlife populations. However, this also makes access to bushmeat a challenge for consumers who want to use it as their primary food source in the United States.
More than 20 states require people to bring wild game meat to wildlife inspection facilities before consuming it. This testing process usually takes several hours and can cost between $10 and $50 per animal in Texas. The inspection fee for wild game meat is $15 per animal under pound and $20 per animal over 100 pounds. Some states require testing of wild meat primarily for food safety reasons, as the meat may contain toxic substances such as lead, mercury, and other heavy metals. Bush meat testing can help detect these toxic substances and ensure consumer safety. Because wild game meat contains many types of bacteria and parasites, such as Toxoplasma, Giardia, Trella, and more than 100 others. These parasites pose a significant risk to human health, especially for animals, with pregnant women and adolescents. For those who have ever purchased wild game meat, they will be aware that its price is often higher than meat from other sources. The average price for 10,000 pounds of wild game is just $1,000 while the average price for 1,000 pounds of farm-raised pork is $3,500. This relatively high cost is due to the fact that wild meat is often harvested manually, requiring a lot of time and effort. Additionally, wild meat is not always available and only appears at specific times of the year, depending on the hunting or trapping season. Wild game can have a richer flavor and different texture than farm-raised meat, which can be challenging for consumers unfamiliar with the taste or texture of wild game. recent years, there has been an upward trend in bushmeat consumption in the United States, driven by growing interest in healthy and sustainable eating. American farmers are trying to make wild game meat more accessible and appealing to consumers, according to the latest survey from the American Wild Game Culinary Association. However, only about 10% of Americans regularly consume wild meat at least once a month. Although this number has increased significantly compared to previous years, it is still low compared to many other countries in the world. The increase in wildlife populations, 
especially wild emerald ash borers, is increasing, posing significant dangers to both livestock and humans. This is because in addition to facing natural predators, they also face limited food sources, leading to conflict and increased risks. Americans often engage in wild boar hunting activities in various locations across the country. Where natural landscapes or diverse in forest environments are among the most popular locations. Texas is known for its strict management and large number of wild birds in Florida is a popular destination for its rich forests and diverse hunting activities. This not only keeps you safe, but also helps maintain ecological balance and protect communities from wildlife intrusion. in the territories of states such as Georgia, South Carolina, and California. Exciting opportunities open up for wild boar hunting enthusiasts to introduce special wild boar meat to diners in the United States. Amid growing environmental and agricultural concerns due to the significant increase in the wild boar population, interest in wild boar meat products has grown even stronger. More and more people are realizing the nutritional value and unique flavor of wild boar meat compared to commercially raised pork. With the growing trend of clean and natural eating, wild boar meat meets the aspirations of people who want to consume products from animals living in natural environments and provide a diverse meat experience. Dietary and natural lifestyles are becoming increasingly popular, making wild boar an attractive choice for those looking to maintain health and a free lifestyle. These animals come to livestock areas to compete with livestock for food sources. Even though bison are herbivores, they still approach livestock areas creating unpredictable situations. With their ferocity, anyone can become the target of a dangerous attack. Many situations turn grotesque when humans accidentally find themselves face to face with raging bison, which can even invade people's homes, causing panic and chaos in communities. To control this situation, many measures have been deployed, from traditional methods to modern technology. Hunting and trapping are the two most common methods used to control bison.
In addition, unique animal stories like the bull with magical horns. This bull made its mark in the Guinness World Records with the longest horns in the world with a length of more than 10.5 feet. It surpasses all limits of horn length. And it also enriches the animal world creating inspiration for those who want to explore and learn about the diversity of nature. Don't hesitate to step foot in Africa to discover how they raise and care for these unique livestock species, often known as king's cattle, in an environment that closely interacts with their culture. Unique history of this area. Located in the southwestern region of Uganda and Rwanda, the majestic horns of this particular cattle are not only a symbol of strength, but also a source of pride. Looking at them, you will understand why they are considered royal cattle. Their long horns are not only friendly, but also came in handy during evolution to protect their ankles from dangerous predators like lions, leopards, and hyenas. The wonder and beauty of these pointed horns amaze us, from the great American highlands to the native regions of Africa. In the fields of western Uganda, every morning, longhorn cows are released free to graze on large fields. With an estimated 7.3 million cattle in Angola, they play an important cultural and economic role in East Africa, especially in Uganda, Rwanda, and Kenya. farming has become an integral part of community life in East Africa. With a unique approach to herd management, it is not only a traditional activity, but also a symbol of a deep connection with nature. This is an art of livestock management developed over generations, with livestock grazing within close range of their homes, creating a way of life that is in sync with the natural rhythms of the land. The success of this activity mainly comes from the abundance of natural food resources in the area. Abundant grasses, shrubs, and plants play an important role in providing nutrition for livestock, creating a diverse and sustainable ecosystem. In this way, cattle raising is not just a job, but also an indispensable part of life and culture in this region. plants have undergone evolution to adapt to the local climate, creating ideal conditions for strong growth, meeting the food needs of special animals such as anoli cows, the zebu breed. A cultural icon in Africa has maintained its status for decades, 
with a population that may reach more than 300 million individuals in East Africa. Anoli cattle, a name derived from the Anke ethnic group, are famous for their long horns that average up to 1,100 pounds, 499 kilogram, for males and about 800 pounds, 363 kilogram, for females in the Ugandan lowlands. Smart farmers build water reservoirs and dig small canals to protect livestock from drought. To keep the cattle safe, LED lights illuminate the hidden barns in every three days. Farmers burn straw to create smoke, controlling insects and parasites. Simple roofless cages help reduce stress on animals in difficult conditions. By raising angle and longhorn cattle, farmers not only maintain tradition, but also have a source of income to pay their children's school fees and provide food. More than 2.7 million of these cows are brought to the livestock market and processed into meat, bringing not only cultural but also economic value to the community. Saying goodbye to the land of Africa, we will step into several states in the United States to witness the lives of farmers raising thousands of Texas longhorn cows. According to USDA statistics by the end of 2022, there were about 273,000 Texas longhorn cows living here. In the American West, with the harsh environment of West Texas, longhorn beef brings a naturally sweet and fresh flavor. The unique combination of fat and meat creates a smooth and tender texture, helping the meat retain its original flavor and tenderness when fully cooked. This is not only a culinary experience, but also a journey to discover the heritage of the Texas Longhorn cattle breed in the West. For those who love unique and sophisticated cuisine, this is an option not to be missed. Longhorn cattle are not only descendants of the oldest breed of cattle in this region, but also a symbol of a rich Western tradition. The Americas witnessed the appearance of the Texas Longhorn cattle breed, a heritage from the Spanish. These cattle not only played an important role in the growth of the Texas economy in the 1800s, but also contributed actively to breeding and meat harvesting purposes. Although the 
they are cared for primarily for meat production and breeding purposes. The Texas Longhorn breed also stands out for its historical and cultural value. On many farms across the country, they not only maintain the meat supply, but are also living symbols of a great and pioneering period in the nation's history. Seeing Longhorn Cows People often revive images of the colonization period in the American West. The Longhorn herd is not only a symbol of a livestock species, but also a living symbol of progress and perseverance, requiring thoughtfulness and dedication on the part of the caretakers, even though they have existed for a long time and left an impressive mark in people's hearts. Indeed, the friendly and affectionate nature of the Texas Longhorn requires special attention to maintaining cleanliness and creating a quiet environment for them. This becomes extremely important when participating in show competitions, where care, grooming, and cleanliness are integral to their appearance. These competitions not only require daily care, but also the cow's ability to adapt in a chaotic environment. This helps them demonstrate patience and calmness, and the caregiver's consistent attitude and interactions play an important role in creating a sense of security and comfort for them. The largest ranch that cares for Texas Longhorns, deep in Hill County, Central Texas, manages an incredible population of approximately 400 Texas Longhorns. However, the mission of this farm is not limited to meat production, but also focuses on creating entertainment and nurturing creativity. The farm is not only a place to raise livestock, but also a source of inspiration for the unique and unique content they share. Not only does this help maintain the meat supply, but it also creates a unique community and experience for lovers. If you find our videos interesting, please like, share and subscribe to continue the future journey with us. Thank you.